dogs back out. So, I'm going to go for a wee beach camp tonight. Uh, down the Ayrshire coast again. It's it last week. Uh, nice week in a cloth top spot. It's <sighs> a bit of a rest already. Uh, I'm going to do a, a beach camp tonight. So, so I'll be back cooking. Be back this, be back that. Should be a good night. Hopefully it'll be nice and clear tonight. We've got a decent sunset. Let's go. Tent set up. Oh, drop it on one feet there. So I've got the Fowl Raven as Bisco Light one tonight. Let's see, on the Scottish coast. Yes. You just couldn't buy this for a billion dollars, could you? So I'm going to get the sleeping arrangement set up. Then I'm going to cut up some wood. There's actually quite a lot of driftwood sticking up there, kind of lying about the ground. So I'll do it for a wee fire later on. We got a bit of cooking done as well. So got a monster something tonight so stay tuned and you'll see what that is but right now I'm just yapping I was gonna sit down in fact I think I might actually just sit down and have a wee brew before I get my sleeping set up sorted so we'll just do that now yeah for the time before I do anything else eh It's a lovely stretch of coast stuff, it really is. I've been, I've been trying to hold off camping down the coast. Uh, I usually wait to kind of midgy season, but that was such a nice spot last week. I just thought I'm going to come down for another coastal camp tonight. It's a bit more, you get one kind of, I don't know, families and that walking by. As, it's kind of, if you know about this beach, you, you know where it is. A lot of folk probably don't. But then again, you'll maybe hear people walking by. There's a kind of coastal walk up in the kind of cliff tops along the top as well. But I must admit, uh, today it's actually quite quiet, so hopefully I'll have most of it. I'll have it myself, I reckon, for most of the day. I've only camped here once before in the summer, and it was actually quite busy, but about 7 o'clock I had the place to myself so fingers crossed I'll be same again tonight 
Oh, it's just good to be out. It's good to be out. Firewood while I'm out. Just be picking up bits of driftwood. There's a couple of wee caves along this coast, so it's quite good. Sometimes just come out and go and be back exploring. But a nice view of Arden tonight again. So I'm trying to film while I'll jump across rocks, so fingers crossed I'll not fall over and break an ankle or anything. I'm just heading back to the tent. There's a couple of folk, a craft farm with that dog. There's a group of folk up there having a week and a picnic, I think. But I think it's going to be a nice night, so we'll get a wee bit of cooking done later on. But before that, we'll, we'll probably get a fire on. We'll do that later on. Back at the tent. So, sleeping arrangements tonight. I've got the Rab, I sent 1100 sleeping bag. I've got the Kyle, sorry, the Flex Tail pillow, the Kylos gear pad. This is such a comfy pad, it really is. I've done a review video on this with a discount code on it as well, but that's by far my, my comfiest pad basically. So, that's the sleep arrangements for tonight. You know what time it is. It's time for a brew. Oh, beautiful wee spot. Like I say, I reckon an hour. An hour, an hour. I'll have a fair place to myself. Lovely. So, I just thought, how are you brew? Drinking brews, aren't they? Oh, it's just a beautiful spot, it really is. I reckon hopefully we've all got a nice sky tonight. But I've gathered a wee pile of driftwood, so I've got a wee fire going later on. Can I heat up? I can feel the kind of temperature drop and drop even just now. I can feel my hands are pretty cold. And funnily enough. These are a great pair of uh, Unigear heated gloves. Which as usual, I forgot to charge them, but they are, they are really good, and to be honest, uh, you don't even need this heated bit. Well, it's nice to have the heated bit to give you that extra bit of heat, but they're actually really, really warm, warm gloves. So I'll just stick them on. Uh, stuff as well, uh, the TBM Poi, the trousers I've got on tonight, and the jacket, they sent me a few, uh, sort of gifted me a, a few things, uh, but it's all been actually really good stuff, I, I actually really like it, the jacket's got a decent, uh, the trousers are excellent, I listen to that, I actually really, really like the trousers are warm. I think these ones are waterproof. But I'm not, I'm not need any waterproof. It's not to rain tonight. I think it's to be nice tomorrow. So I think it'll just be cold and be a clear night. Fingers crossed, it'll be a clear, crisp night. Get some good photographs of the tent lit up. I was going to put the drone up again, but I think there's something wrong with my drone. The one of the gimbal just seems to, seem to be sitting. As if it's slanted, you probably see that for the footage, so you can see if again that's sorted. 
the road, the, the, drone, the drone, the the drone just it's just uh, it just makes such a difference. See the footage. You can probably hear folk shouting in the background. Like I say, our speech is a few folk know about our speech. But it's all it's just a beautiful wee cove and I just like I like coming here. Like I say it's it'll disappear soon enough. Uh, well, I've got something nice to eat tonight. Uh, can I cook something similar to it before? But it was really good the last time. Uh, I've got something extra to put on it tonight. So, that'll be later. Right, well, just now I'm just gonna basically sit back. Oh, I've seen that. I need to, uh, I need to cut some wood. Uh, some of that driftwood, there's kind of some longer bits there, or then again, I might not even bother. Maybe just stick the long bits over and just burn them in half. I'll make a wee fire pit down on the actual kind of stone so it doesn't make a mess. Not bad view, but not a bad spot for tonight, eh? Not bad at all. So like I say, I'm just going to sit back and chill for a wee bit. Oh, it's just a... I just can't beat... I just can't beat doing this. I just, I just love it. Love it. I'm getting a wee bit peckish. But the main thing I'm going to cook in a bit, I've just remembered. I've actually got... got two curry pies. So I'll maybe stick that in... The... I'm sure I've got my wee Ridge Monkey thing again. Used it actually last last week. In fact, same chicken curry pies were that good. I thought I'm gonna get another. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get another couple of them. I'll maybe get them on in a wee minute. Get some tea. I'll worry about the fire later on. Eh? The sun just sort of more or less went down. Uh, temperature dropping, definitely, definitely getting cold. So, I prepped a bit of firewood. So, I've got quite a lot, as you can see. Well, as you can see. So, I've tried to do it from small to medium to large. I've got a couple of huge big chunks of draft food as well. So should get a wee, good wee fire going but that's the humble abode for tonight. Bit of a mess as always. But let's get a fire going because I can definitely feel the temperature dropping. What I do anything though I'll put on the uh, rab uh, down jacket. Definitely the temperatures just suddenly dropped. I was going to put a fire on there, but I think I'll wait just just a wee while longer, just to 
the light starts to fade and then I'll stick it on. I've still not made any tea, actually I've just been faffing about, taking photos, getting uh, time lapse, getting a bit of footage. Oh, it's like it. Well, it takes time. I think the folks just think you just come out and just set the camera down. But I've got to do a bit of jumping about. But what a beautiful spot here. Eh? Look at that. Oh, beach cove to myself. Fantastic. So, hands are nice and warm now with these gloves. Down jacket on. Good to go. So all I need to do now is get uh, the fire going, but I'll wait for the light just kind of fades a wee bit further and then we can sit out by the fire and by that point I'll definitely need some tea. I've got a couple of things. I'm either going to cook something that I've got or I'm just going to have two chicken curry pies and a couple of brews and some chocolate. Wait and see. But I'm definitely going to have a wee fire, sit with the fire for a wee while. It's just a beautiful spot, sitting on the way side and the side of the water. I don't know if you'll pick it up in this. And the birds, and, oh, it's just pure heaven. Anyway, babbling on, uh, I'll bring you back when I start uh, either getting the fire on or doing a bit of cooking. Right now I'm just going to sit and enjoy. Sit and enjoy the view. In fact, it's time for... Brew, brew with a view. Perfect. Oh, gonna be a uh, we fire. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make myself some tea now. It's getting dark. But the fire's on so we'll crack on with a couple of curry pie. Like I said, curry pie time. So we have got the usual Alp Kit Brew Kit. Can of gas, and I have also got, as I say earlier, my wee vintage monkey, which is a great wee thing. It's a wee kind of mini one, so. Right, what 
that. I'll just try to work out where everything is. Oh, beautiful night though. Cold, so what's the matter? It's actually quite cold tonight. Work out the leaf. the Ridge Monkey. I know. Shoddy. Very shoddy, isn't it? Let's see. I know they're in here. Oh, I've got them. Two chicken curry pies. Brilliant. Right, we'll get that on. Here's the Hulk Kit Brew Kit again. I'll keep my, I've got a new uh, fire maple stove that I keep needing to bring out. I really need to, what I really need to do is set up what a uh, two, two different setups for bags. And maybe three. I mean, when you come out, you just get everything basically all in it. You can just pack it up and off you go. Anyway, right, let's get let's get this all together. Oh, it's so good and so easy. So I'm just going to sit by the fire, get two of these. I don't know if I'll even bother cooking something later. Basically all I can hear is the crackling of the fire, sound of the waves, just peace and quiet. Oh, it's good. It's good. Well, else is good. What's chicken curry pie? I'm gonna have to go in, I'm gonna have to go back out to the tent and cook the other one I think. Another curry pie I think. Yep. You know what time it is. It's pie number two time. So I'll go back out and sit in the fire by the fire in a wee minute. Right now I'm just gonna scoff us.
got the plot, it's been cold tonight, it's been a, uh, it has been dry, so it's been a good wee night. Can I whack it? Well, curry pie number two done in. Yeah, it's time for another brew. You know what I love a brew. Oh yes, we love a brew. Jumbly, jumbly. I've got some chocolate, but I'm gonna keep that till later on. That way, I'm just, I'm, I'm that way. I'm sitting just now, I'm thinking what I had to cook as well. So actually, it would have been quite nice, but I just can't even be bothered. <laughs> so I'm gonna sit, do a wee cup of tea. Say it's just pure silence here. Apart from the sea, that's all you can hear is the sea coming in. But, uh, I'm going to try and get away somewhere further afield in the next few weeks. Oh, sometimes it's quite good to get a wee change of scenery and go somewhere different that you've never been. You know that way some set of defence as well, it's, it's, it's getting still not quite light, it's, I don't know, it's still light to about just after 6 I think just now. Once a lighter night's come in but better as well. Oh, oh god I could just drink brews all night. So I'm going to have a wee brew and I'm going to have four finger Kit Kat because I can but everybody else was your favourite chocolate biscuit you like a wee Kit Kat and of course it wouldn't be the same less with a brew as well That open. A nice wee toasty fire going. So I'm going to sit at this. Loads of, there's actually loads of driftwood. So. I don't know about anybody else, but I always think like uh, driftwood. I don't know, it's just it's, it's brilliant firewood. I don't know if it's just because it's in dry. Good heat coming off it as well. So I'm going to sit back with my brew, my Kit Kat, and just enjoy. So see like can hear the the waves hitting the shore. Sounds that fire. Think. There's probably people out there that have actually never experienced them like this. Kind of probably never out of the house. But, well, I can't even, it's just not me. I could 
So that way I could almost, I could just, I really, know what I really need to get is a bivvy. I keep saying I wouldn't mind doing a bivvy camp. I wouldn't mind doing one in the summer, I don't know about winter though. But I certainly wouldn't want to do one when it was raining, pouring the rain. No. I've got the hammock out here in a wee while, so I'm going to have to, I'll have to get that out. And then once just the warmer weather comes back in, I'm going to try and get a couple of, maybe a paddleboard camp, or a kayak camp. I think most of the boys have got kayaks now, so I think that'd be quite a good one. About maybe four or five ish. No idea where it'll go yet, but. Chocolate baskets and tea. Oh boy. to the beach. Fantastic. The tides fair come in, you, you won't pick it up in this camera. The tides uh, run quite far. Da, da, da. No, I'm only joking, I'm up by the tide line. Oh, it's just nice. It's nice to be able to sit out dry, dry, dry night of a wee fire. The sun. Listen to the waves. Certainly plenty of driftwood tonight. The woods over it actually. So I'm just gonna so I've put all that I've actually put all that wood on, so that's the last of the wood there, so I'm gonna let that burn down and then we'll probably head into the tent. So don't go away just yet. That's us in the tent. Last of the wood on the fire there. I've seen the last of it, I don't really put it on, so I've just tucked in the last of it and that'll burn out. And again, it's, it's on the grass sand and the rocks. Oh, it's a noise there. Time. Oh, I don't know that way, you know I'm thinking. I'll get something else to cook. I could really go with chocolate, I don't know why I need, I've just got this urge for, urge for chocolate. Because watching you hear the waves, right? Tent. It's 
Sun's went down. I are going it far enough away it's not going to put holes in your tent. You can sit and watch the fire. Fantastic. Rockets there and the sound of the waves as well. I just love, I just love doing this. You've never ever experienced anything like this. Should be done to come out camping. They just basically couldn't buy it. They actually couldn't buy this. Well, he probably could. But ah, uh, I'll say it's priceless. Priceless. Basically just sitting in the tent now though. Like I say that's the last thing we've done that fire so I don't think there's much more point. Sitting outside. Well, even though I'm looking at it just now thinking, oh that looks kinda of quite nice. And I was nice sitting at it. Just it's just normally you just get you just got a lovely heat off a, a real fire. It's in that way. I'm not the cold. That sleeping bag's excellent. Reading that Kylos gear uh, sleep pad, I'm sure that's got a, an R rating of four or five. That's good. It's definitely the comfiest mat, like I say. Of all the mats I've got, I'd say it's the comfiest one. Uh, sleeping bag must admit that rab is really good. I could just, you know, I could, I could just, I know you're probably just, you're sitting there, you're just sitting in your tent, that's, you're sitting here in the room. All you would hear is the waves. And that is a nice wee beach, just in there. Pure heaven. Pure heaven. Oh, morning, folks. Oh, what a great sleep. Oh, I got up. But, no, I got up, but I'm going to get up. Let's see what it's like outside. I think it's going to be a nice day. Oh well, it's too bad. Well, that's us, packed up. So, leave no trace, no mess. That's where my tent was. No mess at all. See the tides come right in. I think the beach was, or the water was out a bit here last night. But you can see it's come. It's actually, I think it's actually went back out a wee bit. I think it was in further than that. But beautiful day. My fishing boats out already. Anyway, I'm just yapping on. That's me up. So. I'll pack it away. I'll probably just look at kind of heading off now. So, a well, good wee night, good wee camp, nice wee coastal camp for a change. So, as ever, folks, if you don't mind, leave a comment, hit the like button, hit subscribe if you've not already, hit the bell for future notifications, and you know, we'll catch you in the next one. Adios.